Hello everyone. I am Rusha Mukherjee, a student of Shubhendranath Law College, presently interning in Lexis and Company. Today we are going to venture on the topic whether the fantasy cricket and gambling is legal or illegal. For this, we will get through the concepts of gambling and betting. Online betting is a grey area in which certain presumptions has been made and certain people has different types of opinion. There is no fixed rule on the sphere of online betting. It is a grey area and the courts have repeatedly given their judgments regarding this. Back in the history, even in the times of Mahabharata, we knew that one of the reasons for Mahab of Mahabharata was gambling and Yudhishthir even put Draupadi at stake in this game. If gambling was legal at that time, then Mahabharata may not have occurred, is something that the law commission has to say. And we know that history is a great teacher. And from this, a great takeaway can be taken that gambling is one of the basic human instincts of man and it has to be well regulated so that it can be used as a great advantage for us. In India, the old pre-independence act that is a public gambling act 1967 is still used. It is almost more than 150 years old now. However, the Gambling Act of 2005 made gambling in UK legal due to the changing UK norms. But it is very surprising to see that in India, no, nothing of such sort has been done. And still we follow the law of the pre-independence time. It is completely under the state whether they want to follow the state laws they make their own, their own state laws or they want to follow the central regarding this matter. Gambling has not been defined properly in any of the gambling legislations. So, many things do not come under it. Some things do not come under the gambling. The main things that come un do not come under gambling are betting of a horse, which are subject to certain different regulations, lottery and games of skill like Dream 11. Now, we know as I have told earlier that the act we follow in India for gambling is very old and it does not have any provisions for online betting or online gaming. As of 2020, it is legal to play lottery in 13 states. As of now, Arunachal Pradesh, Asham, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Punjab and West Bengal. Now, what is game of skill and what is game of chance? Game of skill is something on which we have prior knowledge or experience. Something which is not completely based on chance. It may be a combination of chance as well as skill, but the game of skill in a game of skill the skill has to be predominant factor always while in a game of chance it is obviously depending on luck there is no skill involved and it is banned in maximum of the states and maximum of the countries even and it is not possible to deal with these now we are coming to the fact that every time the Supreme Court has to interpret the online betting whether it is a game of skill or a game of chance because no particular act has been made for the online betting. So some of the cases we venture into number one is RMD Chamar Bogla versus Union of India where the Supreme Court told that whenever any skill is involved in any game that cannot be called a game of chance and is not gambling. In the second case, state of AP versus K. Satyarayan in 1968 that it allowed certain establishment to take a very small fee for maintaining and running the same and for 
the grounds or the games of skill like rug. K. Lakshmanan versus the state of Tamil Nadu was the third case in which the Supreme Court told that the horse racing was not gambling because it involved certain bits of skill also. Online betting, as I told with the gray area, we can see that the Paytm was banned by the Google Play Store. Also, services were not given to companies like Zomato and Swiggy because they were actually giving this promotional discount campaigns relating to IPL. They were saying that certain predictions have to be made regarding the IPL and this would add points and that would be given as discount to the food orders. But this violated the Google Play Store rules because they actually banned any types of gambling whether direct or indirect. In Dream 11, it, we do not actually directly bet on the money. We actually select a dream team of our own and in this, according to the player's performance, the game is influenced. Selection does not influence the game, but actually the performance influences the game and the winners. Actually, we can see that these fantasy sports and fantasy crickets has faced a lot of growth in the last few years and last few months also. Actually, in 2020, it has rose to 2400 crore and that is complete thanks to the smartphone that gives a very ac easy access to all these things. This is a very controversial issue whether this gambling should be made legal or should be made illegal. Many people has different views upon it. Some say that it should be made legal because this is a human instinct and it is actually to be regulated not to be banned while the others say that it is very harmful and stakes many things of individuals and hence it should be completely banned. So what do you think? Should gambling be made legal or illegal in India? Let me know what you think. For this, I am waiting for your answer. As of now, tata, bye bye, have a good day and thank you.